Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to model a mechanical keyboard. So, um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot. We're not going to model like switches and boards or anything like that, but I just want to want to put together something that, uh, you know, has the right number of keys, the right look of keys, uh, that sort of thing. I'm not, not going to go into like the, the, tiny little details of the inner workings, just the outside pieces, the keys, let's get it into a keyboard shape, um, put the right number of keys in there, that sort of thing. So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna hop into it right now. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little square on the ground. The square is going to be 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters. All right, so this is the space, not actually the space of the key itself, but the space around it. So what does that mean? I'm glad I asked. Well, that means that uh, this space right here is the outside, the, 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 the key sits inside of here, and then this space next to the space next to it makes up like the footprint of where the key goes. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it a component. I'm gonna call this component, uh, a key. There we go. Simple as that. All right. So uh, if I look at a mechanical keyboard, across the top of the keyboard, there's a single row of keys. Uh, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 standard keys. So I'm going to take this component. I'm going to option copy it over here. I'm going to say 15x and hit enter. All right, so that should give me a total of 16 keys. Let's see, and select them all, 16 components. Perfect. All right, so the next row down, almost the exact same, except there's a slight difference. If I option copy this down to here, that's perfect. But this right here, so this is our number of keys. We go across here, we got a little, the little tilde, a little squiggle, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, nine. and then over here, there is a two space key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna hit scale and stretch this key out. There we go, so we got that. Perfect. Now, next row down, we have this key and it's actually scaled up by 1.5. Then from there, we have a bunch more keys that go across. Um, I'm going to kind of work my way around here. Coming down the side of a mechanical keyboard, there's a total of six keys. So I'm going to grab this option down here, 2x, and that gives us that proper number of keys. Perfect. All right, over here, let's see, we got 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's go ahead and copy that down to here. Perfect. Uh, then we have a 1.75 width key. So I'm gonna grab this one, scale it, 1.75. All right, perfect. And then we have that same number of keys that we just copied before. Right there, and take that, option copy that down to here. Whoops, missed one. I'm gonna option copy that to here, perfect. Um, and then we have a smaller modifier key down here. Come down here to here. This one, if we scale it, is 1.25. There we go. And then grab uh, all these keys. And I'm going to copy them to here. Perfect. So now we got a couple of odd shaped things going on here. Uh, we need a 1.75 key. So that's, that was, uh, let's see, that was this one right here. So I'm going to option copy that to here. All right, that gives us, I did that off by one. So this one's actually supposed to move down here. This one's over here. Whoop. And this one's here. And now the exact layout of this is kind of, could be played with a little bit. You know, this is, uh, depending on the keyboard. I'm working off of a physical keyboard I'm looking at right now, but uh, there's there's a bunch of 1.25 keys there. And then across here we have a 
uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six standard keys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just grab that. Actually, I need five because I already have one over here. Grab that. All right, and then we have one last key, which is going to be the space bar. So if I scale that, there we go. And then there's an odd shaped key here, which is the enter key. So uh, this one will actually have to be done manual. I'll have to draw that one back in. Um, and what I want to do real quick with this then is uh, let's draw another rectangle. The rectangle will be about the whole thing like that. And then we'll offset that rectangle out. Uh, let's see how much. Let's see like, yeah, like that, like three eighths. And then that. I can take that and pull that up ever so slightly. We'll come down here, pull it down, pull this down. All right, there we go. So now we gotta grab that, make it a group, a, a container for our keys and our keyboard. Now, all we gotta do is, because these are components, so we copied them, all we have to do is one key here. So if I go into one key, I'm gonna take this right here, I'm gonna offset it by like, 0.5 millimeters. All right, so we get just a little bit of offset. Now I want to round the corner, so I'm gonna come in here with an uh, uh, arc, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of a round corner on it like that. Oh, I'm making it too small. Um, so here, let's go. A, it's trying to put draw 12 sides. This is awful small, so let's just drop the sides like four, enter, and then uh, try to put that little tiny arc there. There we go. And I'm gonna double click on each of the corners, and it's gonna give me that. Ooh, yeah, that's the stuff. See, look how it did that all the way across here. So now, some of these keys, the space bar, I should probably actually manually draw that back in. We have a little bit of distortion on these keys, but I think for what we're doing, it's gonna be okay. Uh, this is why I'm gonna do the enter key. I'll do the enter key and the space bar separate from this process. I'm gonna grab this key now, and we're gonna come into it again. I'm gonna pull it up by whatever the height needs to be. And then I'm gonna grab the top face, and we're going to scale it. We're going to scale that back this way, like, uh, let's say like 0.85. And then we're going to option scale this like that. I'm, I'm modeling by feel a little bit right here, but dang, that looks pretty good. I like those keys. All right. So the other thing we might want to do, okay, so let me, let me just, uh, let me just revel on that for just a second. See how quick that and easy that was? We got all of our keys in here. They're not perfect, but we got them all in there in layout. We can start cleaning this up a little bit. I might come in here to this and just triple click and then maybe go to soften and smooth, turn on soften coplanar. We get rid of those pieces on the end. So they are flat on the face. They don't have that little whoop, little swoop in there to kind of, you know, give me a nice comfortable key cap, but, but uh, we can add that. That's easy enough. Um, the other two, like I said, the ones that are gonna be a little bit different are gonna be these guys down here. I wanna just go ahead and get this space bar in by itself right now before I go any further. I'm gonna offset that and I can inference, so I'm making sure I'm doing the same amount, I'm gonna inference this right there. And if I go to arc, since I haven't done another arc yet, I should be able to just double click and it'll drop the same arc on the space bar. There we go. And then I'm gonna pull it up and again, I can inference the top because I haven't cut that little swoop out yet. That works that way. Scale, and I can scale back this way. Awesome. And then I can uh, option scale this way. Oop, option so it goes around the middle and does both ends. Perfect, and I'll triple click and I'll just soften smooth that. All right. Um, yeah, let's do one more. We'll do this uh, enter key. Oh, I probably should have made that last thing a group. Let me go do that too. There it is there. And then again, offset this. And we can inference that, that offset there. Push, pull it up. Oops. Gotta get my, uh, my arcs on here real quick. There we go. Now push, pull it up. And then same thing, I'll grab this, scale it, scale it back this way, scale it this way, and there you go, the enter key. 
All right, last step. Let's get these, uh, that's a pretty good looking little keyboard. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Oh, nope, nope, double click. And now get rid of that. Extra edges right there. All right, and then let's make sure we triple click, make this a group, triple click. Oh, I didn't soften this. Let's soften that real quick. Triple click, make that group. All right, now I'm gonna go grab one of our keys and I'm gonna make this a little bit easier to see. I'm gonna say to view, uh, component edit, uh, hide similar components. That's gonna give me just this nice, there we go, simple. Uh, I'm gonna temporarily make this into a group, isolate that into its own space. And then I'm gonna draw a circle right here on the red axis. I'm gonna pull this out pretty big, something like that. I'm gonna pull that upwards so it's just, I just want this to lap into that key. So if I was to push, pull this through, that's what it would chop off, right? It would just chop off just the top, give me a little bit of a little right there. Maybe go up just slightly on that. Looks like it, I came off center somehow. So I'm gonna slide that this way and get that to the middle. I don't think I drew that right. Hold on. Let's let's get that back. So that this point is straight up. There we go. Pay attention while you're drawing. Whoops! <laughs> I clicked out. <laughs> let's go back in there. All right. So there's a couple ways we could do this. Uh, one thing we could do is I could uh, make this into a solid and intersect it. Uh, the other thing, which is okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go, let's let's go. Let's go into this and I'm gonna click, I'm gonna double click into this one. Whoops. So this is a separate group. So what's happening is if I go to edit this group, we're coming out, we're seeing all those other pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say edit, uh, or I'm sorry, view, component, edit, hide rest of model. That'll get rid of all those other pieces. Now what I can do is I can say, okay, grab all these Grab these pieces right here, right click, intersect face with model. And you'll see we get some cut lines. We also get some other weird lines. What's this come from? The problem is we have different geometry overlapping off different pieces, so I can't just intersect it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make it a solid. The only reason this wouldn't be a solid right now is because of these lines on the ground. These lines on the ground we just use to lay out the keyboard. We don't actually need them anymore now. So if we get rid of that, close this back up, the bottom up, we should now have a solid. So this is a solid, solid group. If I double click up here, make into a group, it's a solid group. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say, uh, tools, solid tools, subtract from this. We get, there's our key cap. And then we got those nice folds in. Um, yeah, so now we can do some, now now the world is kind of ours. We can do whatever we want with this. So I could take this piece and I could roll this up like this. And then maybe, maybe I'll even take my base right here, go vertical uh, down to, oop, I gotta reset my axes. That's why it's being weird. Reset, and then we'll say we'll come across here like this, up to here, take that across to there. that uh but anyhow yeah so from here we could do whatever we need to with we could add colors we could uh change those buttons however we like we could add text to them if we want to add text then we would have to explode the keyboard real quick because or the keys excuse me because if i put a letter onto here one letter it's going to of course put it on all of them because they're components but there we go so like I said, this was not this was not a uh, machine model. When you get in there with the caps, the the everything's not exactly perfect to the. I think this the actual spacing between keys is five point zero five millimeters. We just made it five because we did that. But you can see you can see what what uh, what we did there it was quick. It was easy. We got a good looking keyboard. Uh, give it a try. It's a fun way to use components because you create that one key and then you distort and then you make changes to one. Uh, we could have done that in a different order too. I could have finished the cap and then copied them over. Uh, I like for me, it was easy to just put the caps, the flat squares around 
and then build on them. But uh, yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, I apologize. I'll, I'll see if I can find a general image of those different keyboard sizes that I worked off of. Uh, I know I just kind of made those numbers up based on the keyboard I got sitting over here. But uh, yeah, check it out. Try it out. Let me know. Modeling with components is a key tool if you're going to become a great SketchUp modeler. Modeling with components, you model something once and then you just repeat that geometry. Great way to model. Uh, if you don't use components now, start using components because they speed up input and help you keep everything contained. Uh, great way to do it. So that was unintentionally a great component modeling session. That wasn't the plan originally, but it turned out that way. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Uh, what did I miss? How could I do that differently? How could I do it better? Let me know. Uh, or do you have a different idea of something that you would like to see modeled on one of these? We do live streams every Friday where we do bigger models. These end up being like two hour models. Uh, these little videos here to 10, 15 minutes at most. So uh, if you have an idea for a model, let us know. They'll make it into one of these videos or maybe you can make it onto a live stream. Leave us a comment. Let's us know what you want to model. And we like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.